So is the body symmetrical? Well, at a most superficial level, the human body demonstrates what we call bilateral symmetry. So bilateral on each side, some symmetry. So for instance, we have an arm on each side, we have an eyeball on each side, we have a leg on each side. So there's a very simple bilateral symmetry in the body. But if we look a little more deeply, say to the viscera, it's obviously not symmetrical. We have a lung on either side, it's true, but the lung on your right side has three lobes and the lung on the left side generally has two lobes. Mm, that's, it's variable, but that's the general theme, three and two lobes of lungs. So that's not symmetrical. There's only one heart in the middle. Uh, and then say your stomach, well, you just got one stomach. Uh, your liver and your spleen kind of balance each other out, but the liver is five times bigger than your spleen. So when we look more carefully at the body, we say it's actually asymmetrical. And I've done very detailed dissections of the musculature of the body and the bones, and I've found that even in the symmetries, we see asymmetry. So one peck might be a little bigger than the other because of the way you use your arm. Or one leg might be rotated this way or that. Now, is this something that's a fault that we should correct? Well, I think some people think it is a fault that we should correct. And you see people kind of straightening themselves out in front of the mirror, trying to make themselves symmetrical. But what they're actually doing is creating another layer of muscle tension on top of the asymmetrical compensations that represent their body's shape. Is that something we want to do to add layers of tension to our body so that it looks right in the mirror or to one another? Or maybe we can look instead at a different question. Is the body balanced? Uh, we don't need to be symmetrical to be balanced. So watch, I'll stand on one foot. I'll pick this leg up. Uh, I'll stick this arm out over here. I'll put this one up crazy. Now, this is not a symmetrical pose. And yet, there's a certain kind of balance to it, right? There's a certain line running through me, right? That establishes my balance and gravity uh, without needing to be symmetrical. Or more specifically, when we look closely at a face and we see its asymmetries, it's actually where the beauty and character lie. If our faces were exactly the same on both sides, it would be very odd looking. I played with it with Photoshop just to see, and it's very strange to see two right sides of your own face or two left sides of your own face. So we carry within us a certain kind of character and quality uh, of, of our appearance and of the balance of our body. That's a, f a function not of symmetry, right, but of balance. So enjoy your balance, but maybe let go of the idea that you should be symmetrical. One, because you're not and never will be. <laughs> and it's a frustrating ideal to impose on the human body that it should be exactly the same if we mean that, uh, if we mean for symmetry to mean exact sameness from one side to the other. It's not something to be achieved with the human body. Even you look at a tree, an oak tree, and it'll have a branch here and a branch there, but one will be going this way and one will be going this way. And that's part of the beauty of the tree. So allow your own beauty to shine forth in your asymmetries and enjoy the balance as you find it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.